Here's a little song I wrote. I hope that you can sing it note for note. Just don't worry, hey, hey, be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. What's good, ladies and gentlemen of the SJ Nation? I decided to do this video today, man. You read the titles of S J. It's a little something different, bro. It's a talking video. You know what I mean? Discussion video, whatever you want to call it. Let me put on my cool glasses. This ain't my cool glasses, my analytic glasses. I usually don't even talk about this part of YouTube. I usually don't even like talking about, you know, uh, YouTubers in general, cause you know, a lot of them are creepy. And you know, my fans are really the people that got me where I got and stuff like that. So it's really all I need at this point. But um, I do have YouTube friends and stuff, but there is something that I felt like I needed to talk about. And it's not even necessarily just this whole H3, H3 versus Keemstar thing, which I will talk about. There's gonna be no script, no edits, no nothing. It's just streamlined conscious. Believe it or not, a lot more people hit me up and ask my thoughts on this. So. My first thing before we get into H3 and Kingstar is YouTube, there is a culture, okay, the YouTube culture, and I've learned this from being on YouTube and being outside of YouTube, it's not, it's not like regular life, right? There's a, there's, there's, there's a lot, there's a big difference between what is portrayed all the time and what is actually going on behind the scenes. I'll put it this way, YouTube now is an industry, just like the music industry, uh, just like Hollywood, just like Silicon Valley, whatever industry. And with industry comes politics. Here's the problem with YouTube that under other industries don't particularly share or haven't shared until recently. It's the fact that when you're on YouTube, you are the product that you sell. Now, every movie Al Pacino does, he's a different product. He's Al Pacino, but he's Scarface. He's, 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 he's uh, the Godfather's kid. He's, so he gets looked at different every time. As a YouTuber, especially if you're like a commentary, commentary person, blogger, you are selling you. So it would be like if, so you need to be able to make business decisions and also, you need to be able to make decisions that based on you personally. I hope this makes sense. It would be like if instead of, you know, H3, H3 selling Coca-Cola, he was the bottle of Coca-Cola. That's the difference. So if, if Coca-Cola was a human being, that means everything Coca-Cola says, does, is going to affect the entire company. So Coca-Cola will have to pretend, if he isn't, to be, you know, a nicer, genuine, or not be the person that he is because we know all people are flawed. That's the pro problem with YouTube. Not only do we sell a product, because when you sell a product, it's okay to sell it a certain way because people know, but you are the product. That's what gets messed up. Oh, dang, my battery about to die. That's crazy. That's just, anyway, you are the product, which kind of, I think, makes it innate that there's going to be some fakeness going around because you're selling yourself as the product. So, the more I get into YouTube, the more I realize that there's a lot of like backstabbing that goes on. There's a lot of stuff that happens in every industry. You just have to be guised under this, we're a community, we all love each other, kumbaya type stuff. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It only works to the fans, but even to the most savvy fans, they'll realize like, I don't know if y'all are two really homies. I think y'all doing this because this is gonna sell better then da 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 It's just how it is. That's why I have kind of expedited myself out of the corner of YouTube I was and got more into, I don't know if you call it the mainstream, just the world. Because another issue I have, and it, it, it seems, there's, when I first got on YouTube, okay, so yeah, when I first got into YouTube, right, one thing that I noticed, right, and as a black creator, this is something that super bothered me. The amount of white YouTubers who have said the N-word, who have done something racist, or who clearly have a take that is, that could only work 
on on one side of things. Like if you were in a public forum where the real world was looking at you, you would you would be you would be killed. You know what I mean? There's a there is a an artist, a white artist who who made a song about saying the N word. And the amount of, you know, black reactors I watched or even like white reactors, the amount of people I watched try to justify that. It's really the first straw that broke the camera's back for me and I just, I couldn't do it. And I I realized what I felt my first year on doing YouTube was that I was, they were trying to make it feel like I didn't belong in all black careers. That's what I felt like on my side. Now, what I'm loving to see is what's starting to happen now what, what, what was done in the dark is starting to come into light, and y'all would y'all would be y'all would be so surprised some of the stuff that me, Mofu Prophet, a lot of creators I know have gone through, right? And we just keep it we just keep it on the tough, and we just keep it strong. That's one thing that I noticed, and that goes into the Keemstar thing too. But that also goes to the H3H3 thing too. Both of them are creators who have said, you know, things that are just crazy to me and not just said it but valid tried to validate it and the thing that and i know that they're both old but i haven't addressed either of them and that's kind of the issue i don't think that i think now so many people are getting backlash from it because i think this is starting to get so big that the whole world is seeing it you know what i mean so it was one thing that as a black creator and i talked to other people we were we were kind of worried about that like man it's so obvious that it's okay to, to do that stuff to us, but, and here's the thing too, you know the reason I don't walk around, one thing I've never seen is them try to do that with like LGBT stuff, um, with, with really that's, I've, I've never seen that. I would never do something like that either because I'm, I'm not, so I understand the pain that people go through with certain things, but it's always the argument of why is it always the N word? Why is it always the N-word? And I say that to, to go to spiral into the H3H3 and Keemstar thing. These are two people, right, who are nowhere near perfect. Nowhere near perfect. Matter of fact, both of them have had controversies and have done things that I have looked at as egregiously crazy. Right? The content nuke that H3H3 dropped. Now, a lot of the stuff was old. A lot of the information they put out was old. One thing that I don't understand though is the people who are being like, oh, this is a horrible video, none of it was new. I, I will say something. I don't think the video was made to bring up new stuff. I think what it was actually meant to do was bubble up stuff to people who didn't know. And let me tell you something. I know a lot of people on YouTube, a lot, right? Fans and creators who didn't know this stuff. Cause some people think that everybody knows everything, it didn't. And um, there are, that's why, I, that's why I started this off talking about the, the YouTube community is, is, is kind of weird. And the reason why is because you are your product you sell, so it's hard to be genuine when you're trying to sell yourself. And you are. Don't let any of these, excuse me, don't let any of these YouTubers tell you, oh no, we just keep, no, they're all selling themselves to a point. I'm not saying that everything they do is fake, but you're selling yourself to a point. And I guess this brings me to the final point. Basically, I said that, uh, my last point was that it, it's hard to pick a side on YouTube B for stuff like that. That's why. Unless you say my name or you talk about me, I really don't care about YouTubers because, or commentary people because 99.9% .9 of the people who are making videos and their job is to like make videos exposing people or tearing people down, 99.9% .9 of them have done things that they are using to paint other people as bad. I don't know a commentary YouTuber who hasn't came out with some sort of scandal. That's serious. The, a scandal that hasn't trumped most of the scandals that he covers or she covers. Seriously. That's why I think commentary YouTubers and prank YouTubers are probably some of the worst ways to get into YouTube because I don't see a way where you wake up every day and you're, you have to create content and it's like, exposing nature content. I don't, one, I don't believe that you care. 
I believe you care about certain topics you cover, but you do not care about all the topics that you cover. And you have to pretend like you do because that gets you more views. That's so disjet. That's so fake to me. It's crazy. And I just think to put that much negativity in the earth. Oh, trust me, I'm. Ooh, I could. I, when it comes to negative battle, oh, I throw all the. I, I throw negativity with the best of them. But I wouldn't wake up and be like, "What? Who? Whose life could I?" destroyed today you're talking about real people you talking about real life situations you're talking about real relationships there's an unwritten rule on youtube where people don't get violent i guess hey the first time i feel like it really happened was tory lanes and dax i'm gonna tell you guys something i think it's a new era in youtube bro i think too many dudes who have been from a certain code now have internet access and are uploading so I'm just saying if that's your thing, and I understand freedom of speech, uh, why would you attack me? I'm just news. You're not. That's another thing I keep saying too with Keemstar and all this stuff. You do do news stuff, but you're not You're not Matt Lauer. You're not the, these people do not present news like y'all present news. Y'all present it with a personal angle. So I've seen times where you're talking about something that, you know, is news, and then you interject it with some personal stuff or talking about somebody that you don't like or there's clearly a bias. So you cannot say that you're a news organization when it is one person, really. A news organization is multiple brains putting together, okay? So you will bear the brunt of whatever you have. And another thing too is a lot of these news people, when they're doing crazy news, it's not just doing news. It's more like going to... Uh, uh, the middle of desert storm It's like you're those kind of uh, 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 News people Talking about Or going to North Korea Talking about uh, 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 The leader In his face What I'm saying is You have the right to say anything But people are not all stable And they have They're going to react the way they, You don't get to choose the way they react As simple as that That's uh, that's a message I want to put out to most YouTubers Because when you start affecting people's Livelihood their family, their loved ones, it's it's, it's gonna go crazy. Someone's gonna be an example. So, and I, I hope it don't get to that point, but that's why I stay out of that stuff in general, bro. So, how I feel about H3HD uh, making, uh, doing the G Fuel thing and, and, and Keemstar losing his sponsors. <laughs> I think, this is two ways to take it. Me, myself, I look at it like, I see how people see that as a corny move. I could see it. Nah, don't don't get it twisted. I'm not defending that at all. I can see how people see that as a corny move because it's a slippery slope. Here's my thing though. I think a lot of people are putting more attention, and this is a problem with YouTube we do, putting more attention on the punishment than the action. Right? I see a lot of people defending that you should not go at people's sponsors, which like I said, it's a very Karen, very, very, are you selling water on the lemonade on the corner? Let me call the cops on you. But here's the difference. Here's the difference. People, I've seen people bring up those different, you know, uh, parking lot patty things. I've seen them. The difference was the people that were getting the cops called on them were doing nothing wrong. If, if the extent of Keemstar's problem was that he was doing selling lemonade without a, a, a permit, then it would be different, right? I don't think you should. I think as a man, maybe you shouldn't. But I also say, it's H2HD crew clearly created this to, to destroy Keemstar. It, it goes this way. You're not doing anything by telling somebody who wanted to destroy somebody, you're destroying him. I don't think it's really doing it. I think Ace Director is like, ah, yeah, yeah, that's the point. That was the point. Now, is the new war going to be going back and forth at people's sponsors? Possibly. But I will say, um, the reason that, you know, they went at Kingstar sponsors, I think most people will be able to not do that. I, I think we, some people are over exaggerating a little bit and thinking that, well, now if you say anything in the country, I think it has to uh, 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 gear to a certain level of outrage that will get your sponsors pulled. I think so. I'm going to keep it a buck. You feel me? Um, let's not defend the action or let's not defend the punishment. Whether or not you think it's bad, you don't. And maybe I'm just cut from a different cloth, but I'll put it this way. 
When you go to rob somebody, you kick in the, the door and you got a gun in your hand, right? Your intention might not be getting shot in the face, right? You might think, oh, he got a baseball bat. He gonna hit me with a baseball bat. The second you kick in the door, whatever happens to you, you kind of deserve. Now, I'm not saying that Keemstar deserves it, but I am saying that you kicked in a door with a glizzy in your hand, right? If you didn't kick in that door with the glizzy in your hand, if you didn't do some of the most egregious stuff that a uh, 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 homie said, I, I think they would have a harder case taking those sponsors away from you. I'm just saying. Now, I will say I understand that H3H3 and people send their fans out and they blindly just follow. I get that. But I see it on both sides. I see it on, yo, going at sponsors is some very kind of like soft stuff. But if your goal was utter annihilation, then really what, who am I, what, am, I can't punish you. No, no fan can punish you. What, no tweet. Of someone be like, it's messed up that H3H3 took away his sponsors. If that was his goal, you're not going to affect him by saying that. Maybe you can do, maybe H3H3 will lose his sponsors for the time that he said N-word or done, had crazy takes. But if he doesn't, he just did it. That's how the world works. I will say Keemstar has some wild things against him that makes it that it's easier to probably lose a sponsor. That's and I, I guess I have that take, and that's why I said I, the stuff I said in the beginning. There is a lot of YouTubers who have some skeletons in their closet. Let me take my glasses off, because I know they're watching this. I'm looking at you. When that comes out, you might have an issue. Now, I'm not going to, I'm, I'm not going to, unless you come out with it. I'm not going to bring that out. Now, I'm over here, I'm getting my, you know what I mean? Rocket, me and Shizzy got a song coming Saturday, you know what I mean? Rocking with these cyphers, doing these Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, ERB, but I'm over here. Leave me alone. You know what I mean? We see what happened to the last dude. Everybody who's dissed me or came at me, I promise you, I look at look at them before they dissed me or during the time they dissed me, and look at them now. It's not good. Cause I don't go with people. Just leave me alone, leave you alone. So the way I look at it is. YouTube, is it wrong that H3H3 went at uh, King, Kingstar? No, I don't think it is. Because he wants smoke. And where I'm from, if you want smoke, you get smoke. What I tell Kingstar is, up the Thule, it's smoke time. Smoke time. This isn't, nobody's going to feel sorry for either of y'all. So playing the, I lost my sponsors, you, my fans don't do this to him. It's not going to work on either side. Right? Y'all both have people who hate you enough that it's not going to work. Either up the smoke or keep it moving. This might be a war and it is what it is. I just want to put my, 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 my sense out into a kind of a rambly video, but shout out to everybody who watched it to the end. What do you think? Do you think it's a slippery slope when you start attacking sponsors? That the, the, the H3H3 hit Keemstar with a personal adpocalypse? That's kind of crazy. But um, like I said, I'm on nobody's side. Um, because they both said the N words. <laughs> you know how I give it up, bro. I'm from Nigeria. Nigga. I'm, I'm super black, nigga. So it is what it is. Um, y'all do whatever y'all do. Um, I don't know. Shout out to both of y'all, I guess, for making a little bit of entertainment. Uh, I don't know, man. We out of here. Y'all YouTubers, man. All of us, man. Tighten up, man. Tighten up, bro.